Hey guys, um, this is going to be the first video of a massive project I'm doing in Minecraft. Um, I'm building a massive computer with the Red Power Mod. And uh, it's going to be very fast and very powerful. It's going to take me forever. I just um, did an estimate and some calculations that the ALU programming would take me 200 days by myself so I'm gonna need help just don't know how to get this mod on a server plus it doesn't come out for 1.1 yet so I've got my Minecraft at 1.0 um yeah this ALU works very differently to every other ALU it's like a decoder type of ALU. Uh, so, yeah, this is all I've done so far. It's taking quite a while to do all this. I've got the three registers here. And uh, the ALU is going to need around uh, 1,500 lines of code. Of uh, programming, so I'll show you what one line is. I made it compact so it'll fit each line will fit next to each other. One line is uh, 24 bits long, and it's just well, this is one line, and there's another one here. Blah blah blah. Keeps going. Uh, I've only programmed up to that much so far. Because I have to, every time I program a new one, I have to dig a new trench so I can easily get under. Then I have to go along and see, I have to work out which ones are got to be on and which ones have to be uh, off. Off is a repeater and on is a redstone torch on top of a block. So, uh, I'm going to make some really advanced games for it when it's done and programs like speed tests and stuff and uh, I'll tell you why the ALU is going to take so long for starters the input is 12 bits on each side two inputs of course except all the functions are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and or xor, xnor, multiplex, invert, implies and square root so yeah it's 12 different um, commands for the ALU to do and each uh, command has to have all the possibilities for um, 12 and 12 so yeah gonna take ages um, yeah so that's the main thing I really wanted to say and um, yeah, the thing I'm just working on right now is getting the calculator system working. I've just made a simple program in the section. Uh, see, it's running. It just stays like that. It's just one bar program. It um, just simply sends stuff where I want it to be sent to. So, like, the register, the first register gets sent straight down to this huge decoder um, that goes all the way up to 63 and has a binary input of 6. And, um, yeah, so what happens is when you, I'm probably going to make this more efficient in the future, except I would require redesigning the whole ALU. So... I may not. Depends on how much help I end up getting. Um, so how this works is you go to the control panel with the calculator system and it's a wireless mouse here. The wireless redstone mod. It's awesome. So you go to your control panel, you turn the computer on currently on 
I need to turn it off. Every all the lights go off. So yeah, you enter a number like that, and then you press enter, and it sends it to the first register. And if there's already something in the first register, it'll go to the second register. So you can enter a number, press enter, then enter your second number and press enter, and it'll go to the second register. So uh, it's already been yeah, it's gone to the second register. Some for some reason the first register is a bit buggy right now. It doesn't always get what I put in, but. Uh, you'll notice, okay, so as soon as it's in the first register, it gets sent to this decoder, and current output, ah, uh, that's a problem, yeah, sometimes I screw up certain lines, uh, okay, it's just figuring out what one is, and for some reason that one's on. That should not be on. Bingo. There we are. Ah. Didn't get those bits. Alright. That's better. Yep. So, 1 equals 1, of course. Then once it figures out what that equals, it will get sent back up through here. <clears throat> and you'll need a command to let it back. And it'll come back through this bundle's wiring into here and then um, into the register so it overwrites what's already in the register so basically if you have um, yeah what that decoder does is it figures out because the control panel it's got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 uh, if you put like um, 1 and 4 in it'll have 2 um, it gets sent to that decoder and it figures out what 1 plus 4 is and then sends it back so it's just um, just one number. So, except if it's all of them on, it's going to be 63. And of course the register won't hold that. So that'll have to go into RAM. When I've built the RAM. But, uh, yeah. So once it's uh, done that, it will then send it to the ALU. And also the command you enter will go into a register. Probably the third register because there's not enough room in this one. There's only three places left, and there are um, four different commands on the control panel and 12 different system commands. So, yeah, the first game I'm probably going to make for this is Noughts and Crosses, just a simple game to start with, and then I'll probably do um, Pong. And then maybe snakes, and uh, more and more advanced games. Also, I'm putting in an easy program system, which is uh, there'll be a ROM piston disk drive, which you'll program into the system. Uh, it'll program into the RAM, and then it'll calculate uh, what's being put in, and so you will get a. Uh, look at a website that's not up yet and won't be for quite a long time but it'll uh, I'll update different programs I make all the time yeah every time I make a new program I'll say uh, which bits of the ROM disk have to be glass and which bits have to be wool so you can just uh, put that program in from the website and then go back to your control panel and run it um, select that on your screen with your mouse and it'll uh, download. It's just like putting a, a game disk into your computer so it'll upload the game. Plus I've got this screen here, pixel screen, it's probably going to be the size of uh, about five of these, four of these. Uh, yeah, four of these. Or maybe even Eight of these screens next to each other, and each uh, pixel is four blocks and displays four different colors, which is what makes this so awesome. 
so, um, yeah, that's about it really, uh, I'll just show you control panel, the screen is going to go over here, it's going to be uh, looking at it, B screen, so you can just stand here with your mouse, you stand in the middle, just move forward and stuff, with the cursor, you press enter, and that will go into the computer, the wireless receivers for those senders. Um, the top level here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, what buttons they will be, but uh, I like the system I set out. Instead of using levers, you just hit the button and it toggles. And yeah, you just hit enter. And that light there will be the. Um, the indicator light of the system is it the computer's program uh, the computer's just running it's running uh, anything really the computer's busy so yeah and the screen's gonna have a power button also when you turn off the computer the screen can still be on it's just it won't display it's off unless the computer's on uh, the computer is going to have a startup program, so yeah, it'll have like a message on the screen that it starts up with and everything, and then it'll say starting whatever I call the operating system for this thing, because I'm going to make an operating system. But yeah, and uh, all in good time. It's, it's going to take a long time to make this thing. So, yeah, I think that's it. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I know I haven't put up a video in, like, ages, because my internet's pretty slow, so it takes a long time to upload stuff. Uh, it's normally too long to upload things. I can't always leave my laptop running. Yeah, and sometimes upload fails. Um, yeah, so I can do 1080p HD videos, but of course it takes forever to upload, so that's why I don't. Um, I might make this video HD, I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching, uh, just in case you're wondering. These red things here, I just put them there so I could stand at the control panel and make sure that this computer didn't, um, the chunks on it didn't deload from far render distance. But, yeah, um, I think that's it. Just quickly, the decoded designs I had. This is like the first design, really not compact at all. The second design, it was quite compact. You just done that decoder there. And the last design, which is being used in the ALU, is this. They can be put right next to each other, each um, line. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching. And hopefully I'll be making more videos. So, yeah, see you guys.